Before we begin the Swift 3D version 5 tutorial, we're going to uh, show you the output of what we're creating here. It's a spinning globe that has uh, an opacity set on the land masses in the water. And there's a glow set on it that I put on it in Flash after I imported the SWF that Swift 3D renders out into Flash. After I imported that into Flash, I put a glow effect on it and uh, you'll see all your frames in Flash. Uh, let's see, let me double click on this movie clip and there's all the frames spinning around. And that's what uh, Swift 3D renders out. SWF files that you can import into Flash then put cool effects and animations and control on using ActionScript or using stage properties. Okay, so here we go. Okay, in this tutorial we'll be working inside of Swift 3D version 5 and we're creating a um, an animated 3D globe. This will be a spinning globe and it'll have opaque qualities to it to where you can kind of see through certain aspects of it. So first thing we're going to do is we opened uh, Swift 3D version 5 and I have a new brand new file here. I didn't do any adjustments yet but I'm going to go ahead and change the layout the output size of the file to 200 pixels by 200 pixels. And now you can see adjust the size of the window there. And now I'm going to add a sphere. Create sphere. Get the segmentation up to 64 for the latitude and longitude. And then we'll highlight the sphere and we go to bitmap now we're on materials bitmap and let's see no actually you don't even have to go to bitmap you can just go to materials here you click materials once this high this object is highlighted you double click this uh the object here that shows the material and then you can uh where it says color you can select on the drop down list a bitmap image and then you go to your documents folder or wherever they are and go to your pictures and you try to find the picture you want to use and I have created in fireworks a PNG document that um, has opaque water it has blue water and it has green land and the water is set to an opacity of about 60 percent and the land is also set to an opacity of about 75 percent I believe so now I'm gonna press generate preview and you can see how it puts it on the globe then you press OK and there is uh, opaque qualities on a bitmap image that's loaded onto that sphere so now once we go to animations here you click animations and you go to counterclockwise spin because that's the way the earth spins and then you press play up here and you can see your earth spinning around and you can set the the layout the environment up here to make it a black background if you want so let's change that to black background press OK now it's on a black background and let's change the lighting to be not so bright we only want one specular highlight on the on the globe and we'll put a dead center kind of dead center top there and you can move your lights around add lights and uh, delete lights by selecting them and then controlling them here your your scene light lighting can all be controlled down here so uh, what we'll do then is go to preview and export and now this is where it'll render out an SWF file for us, but first we want to click raster and generate all frames. And you can see here I have Flash Player SWF already selected. So we'll generate all frames. And now it's rendering all of the frames that that the animation is composed of. And then once the the frames are finished rendering we can press play and see how it's going to look in the browser when, once we send it into flash so now we have an SWF and you press export all frames see how it says export to file up here you press export all frames 
and now we'll just put it on the desktop and we'll call it uh, globe save let's minimize this and now on the desktop here you can see uh, I have so many files here here it is, you double click globe and there it is spinning around and you can then take that into flash um, load it like any other SWF into flash actually if you import the SWF into flash you'll see all the frames it it, it puts uh, all the frames into a movie clip and each frame is laid out in its own little keyframe and you'll see it in flash once you import this file into flash so there you go spinning globe ready to go you put glow all kind of cool effects on it and you can have a ball with it but that's how you make a nice 3d spinning globe that has opaque qualities to it and the the way i got the opaque opacity set on the bitmap image was inside of fireworks i just set the opacity down for the land masses and the water okay that's it we'll see you guys next lesson